we catch something of a picture of God's glory in his creation. I think that's the first point at which a father, a pastor, steps back and sees God's glory. That we see it in his creation, we see it in his power, we see it in his uh, beauty, we see it in the sunset. The sunset is a picture of both the beauty of God and the power of God. Uh, he paints this amazing mural across a hundred miles of the Rocky Mountains on a sunset. And then he erases it and he, he makes it even more beautiful. And we catch a sight of this and we understand something of the beauty of God, but nothing expresses the beauty and the glory of God as much as the cross of Jesus Christ in which the gloriousness of God is, is most perfectly presented to us. And I don't think we're ever going to see or experience or to know anything more of the glory of God than what we see at the cross of Christ in which he expresses his love for us, in which mercy conquers his justice, in which his love overwhelms his wrath, in which he brings about the redemption of his people to the glory of God and uh, we will be singing his praises for this grand redemption uh, forever and ever throughout the eons of eternity.